All right, here we go. Day two, got the boats loaded. Getting there, Dawn and Darlene. So, um, we camped up in there last night. They put their tent up to my hammock up. This is where we're currently at. It's all pretty shallow. Our guesstimations is we got another mile and a half, two miles of portage and getting on, getting off, or I just walked the whole way sort of deal. So. What was your favorite thing about last night, Don? <laughs> Going through the log jam. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was probably the one million mosquitoes we slept with. They were very comfortable and cuddly. So. Yeah, they were nice. <laughs> what was your favorite thing about last night, Grandma Darlene? Uh, when I got to paddle. <laughs> Here's one of our bridges. We're padding a little bit. Looks like we're gonna have to get out right here underneath the bridge, anyways. But last night I paddled up here from our campsite to see if there's gonna be another good spot up here. And I mean, as you can see, it's not like nothing too good. I'm not, I didn't really get any good footage of what our campsite looked like. I took a little video on my phone. Might be able to squeeze that in there. So. So we can make it through this. It wasn't too bad. It was my first time sleeping in the hammock. It took me a while to get used to it. Plus, I at the beginning of the night it was a little warm. So I had to wait a while for it to cool off. But the sleeping bag I had, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too warm or not, but it ended up being pretty much perfect. The bug net I had on my hammock worked pretty good. I didn't have to worry about that. I think they might have got me in the head one time because the bug net was like resting on my head. So I'm gonna assume they just landed on my forehead and just took a chomp. Then they slept inside of their tent with their two uh, mats. There's a frog. I wonder if I got that. See if we can squeeze on this. Pro tip, use paddle as spider web destroyer. That's what I found out. So luckily all this isn't all too bad. Looks like there might be a fucking terrible log jam up there. Holy shit. I hope to God we can get through that. But last night we didn't end up making any dinner for like our MREs just because it's, we were just fucking, we were whooped. So I ended up having about a crap ton of beef jerky and some sun chips and I had one of my cliff bars. So I was up for all this chipmunk right there on those trees. I think the lens is a kind of a wide angle lens so it's kind of hard for me to point things out. But it's nice because you see everything. But I'll paddle up to this log jam and then probably cut the video right there. So you guys can see this, hopefully get around it, but I can see some of the debris kind of pulling up right there. So this looks like it's going to be a little bit of a task. I know after these trees we have a bridge. But either way we gotta get through it. So we gotta find a way, but this looks like one of our one of the harder ones to get through. But let's find out. Oh shit. There's a whole bunch of trees down. All right, well.
You need to stay up here and then. Yeah, maybe I better stay up here. And... Uh, so I was able to hold on to like that bar right okay. there. Ooh. That's one thing you can squeeze and drink. Yeah, I know that's why I was throwing that out. <laughs> Still tastes like plastic though. Than Are you done with your boat? Yeah. All right. I'll take it around over here. You want mine? Yeah. Think you can do it with this stuff on it? Yeah. And my paddle? Yep. Whoa, Rock. Whoa, Charles, you okay? Yeah. Oh, geez, your knee went right, she went right into the boat, though. No, I didn't feel it. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. <laughs> Go ahead and get out, and I'll do this. I might have to make another pass for the dry land. It is. Oh, my hair. Both sides flatter. That's fine. I'm falling. <laughs> Alright. You should get up. How are you gonna scoot up a little more?
Nope, that's not a part of it. That's the drainage into the still water. The still water curves up and then through those woods right there to the right. Oh, that means we're going downstream then. Yeah, that way is upstream. Yeah, but remember I told you we had a... We oh, had we had to go north up. and do a crook, a crook and curve. Yeah. <clears throat> For anybody wondering, we're about to have to paddle shit ton of miles per day once we get through all this bad stuff. But uh, hopefully by the end of this, anybody curious about kayaking or paddle boarding, canoeing, doing whatever throughout the Stillwater River, I'll let you know a good spot to put in. Because... <laughs> all shallow through here you don't want to do it when it's too high because there's so many obstacles everywhere so if the current's any faster with flooding and all the good stuff is not a good idea to do anything like that and you know wear your life jacket that sort of stuff i've kept mine on because i don't know these waters I'm not comfortable with it so go down here and see what we can find uh get in wise at least this path is a little clear for us to get through it looks like that's where don went we found a trail to get through for the most part at least darling's helping or don's helping darling get in oh fuck my legs are sore It's a trip, it's a trip, it's a trip, 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 trip. By the webs. <laughs> Which one's yours? Is that yours? Black one, yeah. All right. What? Yeah. There's log jam. Oh, I'm 
Alaska. Well, we finally made it through, so there goes that. That's the boat's down. So, we'll see you on the next fun adventure obstacle. <laughs> Snake on the log right there. Yeah. What is it? It's a snake. Guess it's a water moccasin. No, I don't know. Do we have them up here? I don't know, but it looks, it looks dark. <laughs> don't piss it off because they can strike. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to like keep away. I just want to get a good shot of it. I don't think that's a moccasin. I see his head. I wait and get in front of the Oh, there we go. Right up on you. Yep. He's scared. First snake of the day or of the trip. Better way to put that. We've had to walk a decent amount. Got a couple miles done at least though. So. We're four to five miles in at the next dog land. Just moved this one out the way and that one out the way. Don's trying to make it through. He got the other side so it saves us from carrying the boats at least. If we get them through the water. Yeah. This is still water. This is what it'd be like. Oh. We got lunch area. It's lunch time with some MREs in us. Some sort of ATV four wheeler trail sort of setup. We opted for the flowing water because of clarity and hopefully less bugs because it's not still water and sunshine. Fail to mention that we're in the wrong waterway. Possibly. <laughs> no. Possibly in the wrong waterway.
lots of ups and downs and outs and ins and lefts and rights. I'm making through day two is going somewhat okay. <laughs> yeah, somewhat. Okay. No one's flipped. No one's dead. Haven't had to call care flight yet. <laughs> so we're gonna set up camp and get a little bit of well not set up camp, but get some food going. Alright, we're done with lunch. I had some chili mac and uh, crackers and a strawberry shake is what came with my MRE. And I also had some sun chips. And what else? I think that was all. Oh yeah, and they had Reese's Pieces. So, we're about to head downstream. We're about five or six miles in today so far. We're only going to go a couple more miles and hopefully find a good camp spot. Because last night we pushed it. And it got dark within like 30 minutes and we were set up, setting up camp while it was dark. So it was a fun time. And then Don and Darlene shared chicken teriyaki from Mountain House. All right, Don. This is your post MRE chicken teriyaki interview. How was the chicken teriyaki? Ready for a nap. <laughs> All right, Grandma Darlene, how was the chicken teriyaki? Actually, pretty dang good. Yeah, I tried some of it too. It was awesome. So, and we're probably gonna have more tonight. <laughs> or at least I am. I know. I need a hot meal on the river. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely having another MRE tonight. Yeah. Cause that was two. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two. Yeah. But that's how everything's. Nothing's too bad so far with the river. Definitely um, for future still water explorers. Going, I think it was the 127 bridge would be the recommended bridge to start at. Because before there we had a uh, like 200 foot portage that we had to go up. Up a hill, take the kayaks all up, go into a farm field, walk about two or three hundred feet around a dam that was about, I don't know, a hundred foot, hundred foot long, something like that, full of trees, so there's no way we're getting through it. So, so I, now we're about to start going down river, so we'll let you guys know if anything fun happens. Oh, I thought it was a rock. Okay, my left arm is totally cramped. Turtle. Don's about to ram turtle. Hit him. See, he looks like a rock. He's right in front of me. Oh, He's like, dude, I just did no rock. What's up, dude? You got turtle. A That's a snapping turtle, isn't it? Is it? Looks like it. It looks like one. The show does. Yeah, his head does too, because his head's giant. Yeah, he got the long tail. Yeah, skinny long. Yep, nice snappy tail. Video. Fire. Tent spot. I'll probably end up having my hammock from this tree to that tree.
It'll be fine. I'm gonna chop down this tree right here. 